floating island of Voya Nui has been guarding an ancient secret. Hidden deep inside the island's burning core is a Kanohi mask, the mask of life, so powerful that it may mean life or death for the entire universe. But a devious and powerful gang of villains called the Paraka have come to steal the mask. They have enslaved the Matoran villagers of Voya Nui, and they are determined not to let anything stand in their way. Once the mask is in their hands, darkness will rule forever. Now, six heroes have arrived on the shores of Voya Nui to begin a mission that could very well be their last. They are the Toa, and their mission is to free the Matoran and discover the long lost mask of life. I am Nuparu. Wait, no, this isn't canon. I am Ziz, an incarnation of the stranger. But, but how did I get here? Was it by boat? No, no, it was a canister, a tour canister. To top it all off, I don't feel or look like myself. Did something happen to me while I was in the canister? Did Karzani do something to us? Where are the others? Oh, because this isn't canon, I can say that we agreed to focus on the mission. So, I need to find the Tor Nuva. Wait, no, this isn't canon, so no Tor Nuva. Well, I guess I need to find the Mask of Life. There's a strange Matoran on the shore. They look ugly even misshapen, and they have these strange weapons. This is Voya Nui, then, and this is one of the Motoran fixed by Karzani. The mask, then, isn't my only concern. I need to protect these Motoran. Welcome! I am Garan. One of the last free Matora on the Voyanui. We have been waiting for you for a long time, Toa. But are you truly a Toa hero? I must ask you questions and learn the truth. Do you know why you are here? I am here to help the Matora. Very good. Do you know where you are? I am on the island of Voyanui. Indeed. This is the island called Voyanui. You have come far from your homeland, strange Toa. Do you know what it is that you are here to find? I seek the Mask of Life. Then it is as I hoped. You have come in search of the fabled Mask of Life, the one thing that can save the great spirit Mata Nui. I fear it will not be an easy thing to find. Why? Unfortunately, you are not the only one who seeks the Mask of Life. Voya Nui has been invaded. The evil Paraka have enslaved most of our people to use in their hunt for the mask. We know of six. Radok, Thok, Hakan, Vezok, Avak, and Zaktan. They squabble and scheme against each other. But any one Paraka is a match for a hundred Motoran. And when they combine their abilities, they are stronger still. I do not think that even a Tor can face those monsters unaided. I can make something that will help you in your battles, but I will need five pieces of ice metal to craft it. You can find them on Rahi called Ice Gafna, that nests to the north of here. But beware, the Gafna will not give up the metal without a fight. <laughs> I've never seen Rahi like those, but I suppose that is to be expected. This island is wreathed in Karzani's influence. It only makes sense for things to be strange. Fortunately, it's nothing I can't handle. Here you go. Five ice metal pieces. You've collected all the ice metal that we need. Unfortunately, I have lost the equipment that I need to craft it. 
when I was scouting near the Protodermis Lake, a wild Burnhawk surprised me and chased me off before I could collect my tools. You must defeat the Burnhawk and bring back anything you can find. Then, I will explain what we must do next. The Burnhawk is gone, and you've brought back my equipment. With it, I have made this. If you equip it, it will help protect you from water attacks. You may find more items to help you as you journey across the island. Here's your equipment. When the Paraka came, I hid some supplies nearby. Before we can join the other free Matora and the, the fortress, we will need to go retrieve them. But the area is too dangerous for me to travel. Please, go to the stone heaps and dig up the two metal fragments that are buried there. I will need them to craft protection. When you have found them, bring them back here. I had found the metal fragments while dealing with the Gaffna and doing some reconnaissance. It would have been much better if I had been told that they were needed earlier. Here you go, two metal fragments. Now we can join the others. Royanui swarms with dangerous creatures. Even a Tor cannot fight them all at once. You should practice the technique of diversion. By drawing an enemy's attention, you can lead it away from its group and overpower it alone. Let us travel into the jungle together. Look at your map, and I will point out our destination. When you're ready to leave, tell me. Okay, let's go. We're here, but look, a Rahi beast guards the trunk bridge. He must create a diversion to draw the beast in your direction. When he becomes distracted, we will run as fast as possible to the other shore. Remember, the greater a diversion that you create, the further away you will be seen by enemies. This maneuver was very strange. The lava ape was unlike any other Rahi on Voyanui, as it was not aggressive. But it did react to my provocation, charging towards me like a frenzied Kikanalo. Uh, then, as I stepped out of the way, it kept going. I suppose Kurzani's influence has ruined the minds of these creatures. Well done, Tor. But there's plenty left to do. Are you ready? Ready. Do you see the village nearby? That is where the Matoran lived before the Paraka came. I need you to retrieve three items that were left there when we fled. The first is in a Matoran hut. The second is in the main village area. The last is above the launcher warehouse. I would go with you if I could, but the guardian left by the Paraka knows to watch for a Matoran. Please hurry, Tor. This village was very reminiscent of Po Koro, even if it was on an incredibly distant island. That makes no sense, as the Matoran here have never been to Mata Nui, and no one on Mata Nui has come to Voyanui before. How could it be? I'll leave these questions to the side for the moment. Here's the stones. I heard the sound of an ectern alarm. Did you run into one when searching for the items? There's a good chance that a guardian patrol may come to the village. We must destroy them before they discover us and send our location to their masters, the Baraka. 
This may be a difficult task, but since Guardians will lurk for many hours before reporting, you have time to train if need be. You may wish to practice your fighting skills against Loko Rahi before you battle any Guardians. I'm impressed. You destroyed the Guardian on your own. From now on, we will be able to move around without being spotted. Take this. It should help you to attack from distance. Keep still, Doa. Now that their Guardian is destroyed, the Paraka may return at any moment. We should travel to safer ground. If you will escort me to the Wasteland, I will be able to evade capture if the Paraka appear. Oh no. This is what I was afraid of, Toa. The Paraka returned while we were gone and sent more Nectar into the village to find us. We must destroy them before they discover our hiding place. Be cautious and return here when the Nectar are gone. So that was the Paraka. I bested him in combat, but he managed to slip away. I don't know how, though. His body went limp, as if all the joints within had been parted, but as I looked away to ensure Grant's safety, Raydak was gone. Incredible! You defeated Raydak! I did not think such a thing possible, but now he has fled. And he will certainly tell the other Paraka that you are here. Look, he dropped this when he escaped. Perhaps it will help you to free our island and find the Mask of Life. What can I do now? I am sorry to demand so much of you, Tor, but a difficult mission lies ahead. I must ask you to explore the northern ice coasts of the island. The Paraka have spoken of new Burnak colonies there, and they may be a danger on our journey. Investigate the colonies, then destroy the Burnak if you can. Be careful, for it will not be easy to fight so many strong Rahi. I'll show you the places you must visit on your map. Have you found the Burnak colonies, Tor? Did you manage to stop the spread? Yes, the colonies are no more. Congratulations. That was a hard task, but you did well. Thanks to your courage, the Burnak and Gafna will leave us in peace for a while. Look, while you were away, I crafted this weapon with the items that you have collected. It is not very powerful, but it will aid you in battle nonetheless. As we have destroyed the Nectar and the enemy camps, the Paraka will certainly try to counterattack. Let's go to the Matoran fortress and talk to Palta. Come back when all is ready. The Matoran fortress was a good sight. It reminded me of Ta Koro, if a bit more shoddy, but the reminiscence was there, and I found that strange. Bamakanui, a tour! What's your name? Huh, never heard of you, but m maybe you're famous back where you come from. Anyway, I'm Balta, and if Gran sent you, then you're welcome here. The Paraka are definitely planning something, and we could use your help to capture one of them to find out what they're trying to do. Uh, we want to lure the Paraka called Thunk to one of the ends of the island, so he can't get away. And unfortunately, the place we have in mind is infested with a gaffer. If you want to help, take this. This claw has the power to melt ice, and it'll do a lot of damage to enemies with ice defense, too. 
Now go back to Garan and tell him what I've told you. We'll meet again later to prepare our attack. You've spoken with Balta. Ah, I see that he's given you a new weapon. Hmm, this is not powerful enough. I might be able to transform this weapon into something different, stronger. If you can bring me the toolkit I buried near the northwest edge of Foyanui, see if you can dig it up. Here's the toolkit. Here you go. A three-bladed weapon. I call it the Fire Slash. I have seen a Parak with a similar weapon. It will do more fire damage to your enemies. Try it out against a Gafna prowling around here. Come back when you are done. Very well, but you still need more armor. I don't have anything else to give you right now, but if you speak with Veleka at the fortress, he might be able to make something that will help. He's a little strange, but he's a good friend and an amazing inventor. Before it can bite, the Moaka's teeth must be sharpened. I am Velika, and I can craft you armor. First, the question. Do you think your skills are good enough? Yes. Uh -huh. The Kanohi Rokusal has earned its share. I will make you armor, strange to her. But first, I need materials. Bring me five water Burnak metal pieces and five water Gafna metal pieces. You will find them along the coasts. Come back when you have gained all that we need. Use your new armor, a set of greaves with ice properties. There may be additional armor in the launcher warehouse. Take this key. It will open some saves on the island, including the one in the warehouse next door. Come back when you're done. To catch the thieving Bracus, first you must find his tree. It is time for us to capture the Barakathark. I have invented a locating stone that can track him, but it has mysteriously stopped working. Unfortunately, I left my special tools uh, in the village. If you bring me the proper tools from one of the huts, I can repair it. I will also need energy stones. You can find two of them buried in the ground beside the flat stones. Look to me, and I will show you where they are hidden. Here is what you requested. Thank you, Tor. Repairing the locating stone will take some time. You should go back and speak with Garan while we wait. So Velika is still working on the locating stone. Then this is a perfect time to train, Tor. You should battle the Rakusar that blocked the path to the South Fortress door. Come back to me when you're done. Word has just come from the fortress. They've located Thok. But the fortress has come under attack, and all the Matoran are needed there to protect it. I fear you will have to battle Thok alone, Doa. According to Velika's invention, he should be somewhere around this point on your map. Find him quickly and capture him if you can. The Matora and Voyanui are counting on you. I bested Thok too, but I failed. I could not capture him. I suppose that is an ability that the Paraka possess. They can play dead in an impossibly convincing manner. I'll have to account for that. So Thok took off before I could capture him, did he? Oh well. At least he taught him a good lesson. Yeah, uh, we'll have to try to track down the mask of life on our own now. You should talk to Grand about what to do, do next. He's full of good ideas. Okay, Karan, I'm coming. It 
was not your fault that Thok escaped, Doha, but it is unfortunate. Now it is up to us to find out what we can about the Mask of Life and hope that we can beat the Baraka to its hiding place. Legend tells that there is a maze of caves beneath Foyanui that allows one to travel quickly across the island. The Baraka suspect this to be a path to the chamber of the Mask of Life. The Matoran are not strong enough to venture inside the caves, but a Toa might be. I need you to find the entrance and see what is going on there. But be careful, for the Paraka may have already found the caves and set guards to protect them. So the Paraka have found the caves. If they're guarding the entrance so fiercely, that must mean they're hot on the trail of the Mask of Life. Let's hope they haven't already discovered it. We need to know what they're up to, and that means you'll have to go into the caves. You need to repair the light stone in there first, for it will light your path inside. See if Piruk in the fortress can help. Oh, you scared me for a second there. I'm Pyrrhic, the Master Scout. You must be that new toy the others were talking about. These are frightening times, Toa, so I'm glad we have you on our side. A light stone? Sure, I know how to repair that, but I need your help with something else first. It's an emergency. What's next? Thanks to the Barak is stirring up so much trouble, I haven't dared leave the fortress in days. But I'm sure you can do this for me, Toa. My tame de Bornak is all out of food, and if he doesn't get some soon, he'll starve. Can you find the Bornak colony up north and get some of their food? Bring it right back here, and I'll give you the tools you need to fix the lightstone. Please, hurry! Here's the Burnak food. Finally! This is just what I needed, Toa. Thank you. My Burnak will have a full belly tonight. Here, take these tools. They should be all you need to fix the light stone. If you have any other problems, go talk to Balta. He'll know what to do. Enslaved Matoran. It's as if Makuta's dreams had come to pass. This is horrible, but there has to be something I can do. Must serve the Paraka. Must find the Mask of Life. Who? Huh? A Tora? Help us, Tora. The Paraka. Th they control us, make us their slaves, cannot escape, P please help us, set us free, set us, M must serve the Paraka, must find the mask of life. Those Paraka! They're using our friends to find a mask of life for them. <laughs> Your friend has been working in a way to free these enslaved from a Thorin tour. You should go and talk to him. So they're using our fellow villagers to hunt for the mask of life. Now you have seen for yourself what the Paraka have done to our people, Toa. Now you know why our plight is so desperate, but all may not be lost. We think we may have found a way to set the villagers free. Protodermis may counteract the effect of the Baraka's control. A Protodermis sphere launcher is just a thing to use. Now is the time for a Taurus task. Return to the cave and free the Matoran there. Lead him to the fortress, then return to me when you are done. Uh, 
I will set you free. Uh, uh, I am free? Tor, I owe you one. Please take me out of here before they catch us. Thank you again, Toa. So the protodermist worked. You have saved our friends, brave Toa. And for that, you have the thanks of every free Matoran on the island. Let us hope that soon there will be many more. Now that the Matoran in the cave are safe, you must destroy the Paraka drilling machines there. They're digging for something, and we can't afford to wait to find out what. You'll need something special for this vision. Return to the fortress and talk to Pirok again. He should be able to help you. Whoa! Oh, it's you again. And thanks for helping me out earlier, Toa. Is there anything that I can do for you? Sabotage, is it? I can definitely give you something for that, but I'll need your help again first. I've been given a mission to go spy on the Paraka, but frankly, I'm too nervous. Those grinning goons act like they've got eyes in the back of their heads. We used to have an invisibility stone here, but a group of wild Burnax stole it a while back. With that stone, I could sneak up right behind the Paraka and he'd never know I was there. Uh, go to the stone Burnak camp and get the invisibility stone back from them. Just be careful. Here you go, Piruk. An invisibility stone. Yes, that's it. Thank you so much, Toa. I feel safer already. Here's what you'll need for your mission. It doesn't look like much, does it? But there's a surprise inside for the Paraka. A swarm of metal-eating insects that will chew up all of their drilling equipment. Just make sure you use it in the right place, because these little guys are pretty hungry. Sabotaging the Paraka's operations is not a bad idea, but I think we need to be doing more. We need to be more proactive, but this will do for now. Good job, Tor. That will set back the Paracas plans for a while. But now things get a little trickier. Most of the caves are locked off by the strange doors that you may have seen. A long time ago, another Matoran told me that there are three keys that will let you into the hidden section. But it looks like the Paraka have already found them. Piruk has used his invisibility stone to sneak around a little. And we're pretty sure that the Paraka's guards are protecting the keys. If you can get all three, you'll be able to access the secret passages. What's next? Once you've gotten in, snoop around and see what you can find out. If there are any machines down there, see if they're still working and what they do. Just be careful. The Paraka are probably waiting for you somewhere down there. I fought Thork and Redak. Fortunately, I bested them. Unfortunately, both of them fled using the teleporter. I tried to follow them, to finish the job, but the device was no longer operational. That needs to change. Radark and Thork were waiting for you, and you defeated both of them. You certainly are a true warrior, Toa. It's unfortunate that the transporter did not work. 
Our enemies suddenly know how to set a trap. Now, we must look for other clues to find the Mask of Life. What now? Well, that path to the Mask of Life may have been a dead end, but don't despair. At least the Paraka don't have it yet either. I don't like staying in one place like this. I may not be a Toa, but I am still a brave defender of Voya Nui. Despite the risk, I must move to a hidden spot along the ice coasts at the outer end of the island. If you wish to accompany me, Toa, then we can travel through the desert along the jungle. Look at your map. I will show you the route. Here we are, safe and sound. This is a good place to spy on our enemies. The last time I came here, I hid some equipment that we stole from the Paraka. Here, take them. They could be useful to you. They're especially strong against Earth enemies, like the ones that live nearby in the jungle. Look at your map, and I will show you the location. Try out your new equipment, and then return. While you were away, we had some unfriendly visitors. It looks like something's got the local Rahi stirred up, and some dangerous ones are prowling pretty close to here. If they find our hiding place and attack, the commotion may alert the Paraka. See if you can get rid of the Roku Sal and Fico groups in the area. When they're all gone, come back and we'll speak more. It looks like we're safe for the moment. Good job, Toa. My protodermis stock is getting low. We'll need more soon. Can you speak with Kazi at the Matoran Fortress and see if she'll help you collect more? Hello, Toa. It's good to meet a fellow warrior. Yes. The Protodermis Lake is right nearby. If there are any Kuna around when you get there, it'll be up to you to hold them off while we collect the Protodermis. Here, check your map. That's the spot where we have to go. Here, take these containers and fill them up with Protodermis. When you are done, we'll take them to Garan. All right then, let's fill up those containers. Okay, that's pretty good. Tell me when you are ready to leave. We'll have to travel through the jungle to stay hidden. Though if we have to fight, that's not so bad either. Pretty well. We should have enough protodermis for now. See the black rocks over there? That's where the Paraka have built themselves a stronghold. It's a heavily guarded building, and you're not quite strong enough to go inside yet. For now, just take a look around the area and see if you can find any clues to what's going on in there. Come back when you are done. So that's what's going on. The Paraka are using the enslaved Matoran to supply their base with protodermis, and it looks like they're keeping their reserve supply hidden in a secret warehouse. If we could find and destroy their reserves, it might just set back their plans. You should go talk to Piruk at the fortress again. He'll help us find the warehouse. Warehouse, you say? I think I know just the place. When I was scouting last night, I saw some of the Matoran slaves storing containers in a cave in the desert. See? Here it is on your map. Take these destruction crystals along with you. 
place them on the containers, then uh, throw one next to another. Uh, they should create a chain explosion. It'll put a stop to the Paracas plans for a while. Uh, when you're done, head back to see Garan. The Paraka will be hunting for you. And better you than me. Good luck, Dora. I'm glad you're back, Tor. Biduk just sent word that one of the Paraka has been prowling around the Protodermis Lake ever since you wrecked their warehouse. And not just any Paraka. It's Zaktan, the nastiest of the bunch. We need to find out what he's up to, and fast. Take this windstone and this air offensive armor from Biruk. Zaktan will be tougher than the other Paraka. He has strange powers, though he might not use them right away. The equipment may give you an edge in fighting him. Just be careful. I fought Zaktan. I think I bested him, but there's something else. He was not like Radak or Thok. His whole body was... It was almost like there was no body there yet also a billion bodies at the same time. He managed to flee as a result, but the important thing is I beat him. You took care of Zaktan? Incredible! Now it's time to head out to the Black Rocks region. It's been infested with Hikaki ever since the Paraka arrived. There should be four flocks of them in the area. If you can get rid of the flocks, it'll be a lot easier for us to get to the Paraka stronghold when the time comes. Check your map, and I'll show you where they are. Come back when you're done. <laughs> Biruk tells me that the Paraka had some of their Matoran slaves bury equipment somewhere under the rock. We're not sure what it is or why they hid it there, but we want to get our hands on it. To dig through the stone, you're going to need special tools. Talk to Velika at the fortress and he'll make you some. When you have the tools, free three Matoran slaves and talk to them. They'll help you find the hidden equipment. The spider weaves many webs, but it only hides in one. A treasure hunt, is it? I can craft the rock digging tools you need, but I will need strong metal to forge them. Fico spun metal makes for strong webs and for strong tools. Battle Fico spiders, Tora, and bring me ten pieces of their metal. Then I will make you your tools. Everything here is off. The Motoran are strange, my enemies are not right, even the Rahi are messed up. The weirdest and most uncanny thing, however, is Velika. I look into his eyes and see something, but I just can't tell what it is. He is playing the fool, that is certain, but how much does he truly know? I guess I should be glad he's on our side. Here you go, Velika. Ten pieces of Fico metal. To pierce a stone, use harder stone. Well done, Toa. Here are your rock digging tools. Garan will tell you where to find the slaves that you must free. Use these protodermis spheres to release them from the Paracas control. You have the tools from Velika? Excellent. 
The slaves that you must speak with are working in a set of caves. Pyrrhic is sure that they are the ones that buried the equipment. Then when freed, each should be able to tell you where a piece is hidden. Look at your map, and I shall mark the location of the three caves. Head north first, then west, and finish by the southern one. Return when you have found what we seek. Must serve the Barak. Must find the mask of life. Don't worry, I'm going to free you. I uh, am free. Free! Thanks to you, Toa. Let's get out of here. What? Buried equipment? Oh, I remember. I will lead you to the location of the equipment I hid. The black rocks are dangerous for a Matoran. I will need your protection as we walk. This is where I buried the equipment. I found it. Where do you want to go? Hmm. Let's go to Garan. I want to help you. Please, help us free the other Matoran. Well done, Tor. Have you found the equipment? Garan, here's the first piece. Excellent. I will try my best to figure out what sort of object we can make with this. You should go and try to free another slave while I work. Travel west of the Black Rocks, and good luck. Must serve the Paraka. Must find the Mask of Life. I'm going to free you. Don't worry. I uh, am... Free? Free! Thanks to you, Toa. Let's get out of here. What? Buried equipment? Oh, I remember. I will lead you to the location of the equipment I hid. The black rocks are dangerous for a Matoran. I will need your protection as we walk. I've hidden the equipment near here, somewhere. I found it. Let's go now. Please, take me to Garan. I might be of some help. We'll go when you're ready. Let's go to Garan. This first piece is part of some sort of weapon. Perhaps with all the pieces, we can rebuild it. Have you found the second part? Here's the second piece. I didn't expect any less from a great tour like you. Please, save the last Matoran slave. He should be south of the Black Rocks. Must serve the Barak, must find the mask of life. Be free. I am free. Free. Thanks to you, Dora. Let's get out of here. What? what? Buried equipment. Oh, I remember. I will lead you to the location of the equipment I hid. The black rocks are dangerous for a Matoran. I will need your protection as we walk. I don't remember where I hid the equipment, but I'm sure it's not too far from here.
I found it. Thank you. Please, bring me to the other freed slaves. I want to see my friends again. Just tell me when you're ready to go. I'm so glad I will soon see my comrades. <sighs> At last! I was getting worried about you, Toa. You've done well so far, but we can't stop yet. Have you found the last piece? Here's the last piece of the weapon. Thanks for bringing the extra help. We can fix the weapon, but we need materials. You can hunt down the parts that we need to finish the repairs. There are Osar crabs that live in the caves near a small lake. The entrance hidden by rocks. They have very strong shells, perfect for our needs. These aren't like the Usal that you may have met before. They're dangerous and very aggressive. If you can bring me three shell pieces, that should be all we need. You will need some powerful weapons to fight against the Paraka. You will need powerful weaponry to be a match for the Paraka. Please, help us free the other Matoran. Did you find the cave? I recall I once found that cave by running straight from the bridge until I reached some rock pillars. Then I fell in a hole. Good luck. And watch out for holes. Sheesh. That was a steep fall. Uh, here's the Usal crab shells. Great. That's perfect. Now, let's put everything together. Aha. So that's how it works. Here, take this with you. It will do stone damage to your enemies. The Paraka are sure going to miss this. From what we've heard, the Paraka don't like each other much. That's something we can use to our advantage, Tor. Zaktan especially mistrusts the others. He's hidden some of his supplies to make sure the other Paraka don't take them when his back is turned. Unfortunately for him, we're going to take them instead. I'll show you the spot on your map. We've seen Nectan groups carry Zaktan's supplies into this cave. One of the Matoran that you freed says that there are three entrances. Check them out and pick up one, then find the supplies. Take them and get out of there. <sighs> I died. No, I didn't die. Did I lose this fight? Why are these Nectans so strong? Why do my weapons not strike them? Why is it that they are so powerful? Is the balance off? Should I not be here? Or is there something I'm missing? The hiding mechanic? cave, Zaktan attacked the Matoran fortress. There are Nectar and Paraka guardians everywhere. The other free Matoran are trapped inside. Hurry, you've got to help them. Get rid of the Paraka's forces before it's too late. Well fought, Toa. I probably could have taken them all myself, but... Well, it was good to have you helping out. Here, I've got a Toa-sized weapon for you. I'd use it, but it's a little too big for me to swing around.
It's finally time to deal with the Paraka stronghold, my brave dwarf friend. The stronghold is where the Paraka make their launches, and the terrible Zamor spheres that have enslaved our fellow Matoran. We're going to destroy their weapons. No more innocent Matoran will fall under the control of that band of thieves. And, as a bonus, it should slow down the Paraka's hunt for the Mask of Life. Go through the Paraka stronghold in the Black Rocks, destroy the guards, and try to get inside. If you have any trouble, come back and speak with me. Your mission begins in earnest now, Toa. The Paraka stronghold looks like it isn't theirs. It would be more fitting as the base of a team of Toa, and it is evidently built by the Matoran. How long was the Paraka's trickery afoot? I need to get inside, but I don't know how. Garan should know about this. So the door was blocked from the inside. I suppose that's no surprise. I imagine Zaktan has taken refuge inside the stronghold with his guards. You'll have to find another way in. Take a look around the area and see if you can spot anything useful. A tunnel near the stronghold. Interesting. But it sounds like you're too big to get inside. I'll bet that tamed Bornak of Pyrrhox could help you out, though. It could crawl in through the tunnel and open the main door from the inside. Talk to Pyrrhox at the fortress and see if you can borrow his pet. Come see me when you're done. By Matanui, I've been jittery ever since the Paraka attacked. Good thing you were able to able to drive the forces off, Dora. Sure, I can help. I'm an expert in Burnak taming, you know. Uh, unfortunately, my trained Burnak has taken sick. Uh, there must have been something wrong with the food you brought back. Ah, oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, no, no, you don't apologize. But if you can bring me a life stone, I can get my pet back on his feet in no time. There's a group of fire gaffner that often prowls around the fortress. Uh, you might be able to find a life stone on there, one of them. Uh, we will also need an energy crystal. You can find one on another ape at the Cape of No Hope, on the far southwestern deep of the island. Uh, w when you have both stones, come back here and I'll see what we can do. I've got good news and bad news, my fearless friend. Uh, with, with these stones, we can definitely fix up my team, Burnak. But he's gone missing. One of the others saw him wander off toward the desert. He must be pretty weak by now, so we've got to find him fast. Check out your map and head toward this location. You might want to search carefully near the smaller rocks. A desert Burnak like to dive under the ground when they're lost. That your Burnak, Piruk? Thank goodness you found him in time. There, all better. See how happy and full of energy he is now? You two go back to Garan, and I'm sure he can tell you what to do next. Take good care of my Burnak, Tor. You have the tamed Burnak, Tor. Good. Now, use it to open the main door. Please, hurry. I'm sure that more Nectan will arrive soon to protect the Paraka stronghold.
The idea of having Pyrrhux Burnak open the gate from inside was not one I would have gotten. Sure, Rahi have been tamed and taught to do things, but I would not expect one to know which switch to flip. Fortunately for me, this one was very small. Avark and Zaktan were in the stronghold, but they did not fight together. After besting Avark, I hoped he would stay down while I fought his comrade, but instead of coming to Zaktan's aid, he fled. The snake also escaped due to his strange constitution, but the stronghold is now ours. Sad news, Tor. One of the Matoran that you freed was recaptured by Redark before he could tell us anything about the Paracas plans. Now they've taken him to the Chamber of Truth to be questioned by the Parak of Azok about how he got away. Please, go and rescue him. The Chamber of Truth is set on top of a high rock peak, too steep to climb. You'll have to use a travel gate to get there. Remember that gate you found in the caves beneath the island? It can get you there in a hurry, but you'll have to get it working first. Someone at the fortress should be able to help you. If you can't get into the chamber, come back and talk to me. Sounds like the gate needs to be repaired. I know just the thing. Only hitch is, I need an energy stone and some fine metal to make the new parts. The fire metal is hoarded by creatures with a strong fire resistance, so you should go find some of those. The stone... Now, where did I put the stone? Oh, I buried it in the sand beneath a rock a long time ago. Now here, I'll show you the approximate spot on your map. Search around and dig a bit. You'll probably find it. When you've got everything, come on back and we'll see if we can get their gate working for you. Ah, so this should do the job nicely. Wasn't too hard to find everything, was it? Here are your spare parts, Tor. Use them to repair the gate, then you should make it to the Chamber of Truth. So good luck once you get inside. Thank you. Now, give them to me. Why would this place even be here? It is so unlike anything else on the island that I found myself thinking if it was actually something put here long ago. Unfortunately, it is locked. The way into the Chamber of Truth was locked? Hmm. You should probably talk to Balta. He might be able to help you. When the Paraka came to Voya Nui, they took several Matoran to the Chamber of Truth to demand the location of the Mask of Life. They did not believe that we didn't know where the, it was hidden. Yeah. We tried to rescue the prisoners ourselves, but all we could do was steal and hide a gate key before the Paraka drove us off. It's buried in the jungle near the Cape of No Hope. Yeah. I'll mark the approximate location on your map. When you get there, look for a small heap of stones. The key should be buried next to it. We did not succeed in our mission, but you still have a chance. If you can free our friend, bring him back here to the fortress. May the look of man Nui smile on your tour.
That's how you found the key. Well done, Tor. Go back to the Chamber of Truth to free our friend. But before, before that, may I see the key? Of course. Uh, here it is. Well done. This seems to be the right one. It will not open the front door, but another one nearby. You came to help me, Tor. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go quickly. You've done an incredible job so far, my friend. Truly, you are every bit the hero that the tales of Tor claim. Now that you have found the Chamber of Truth, we need you for a very special mission. Though the Paraka plot against each other, the brutish Raydark and the interrogator Vezok have formed an alliance. Now Raydark scours the islands for Matoran to capture, so that Vezok may question them in the chamber. It will take the power of a Toa to stop him, and the best way to find him is to let him find you. Attack the sentries that Radak uses to track Matoran. I'll show you their locations on your map. Destroy them fast, and Radak may appear. But be careful, for he is stronger than he looks. I am surprised by just how apparently weak Raydak is, even if equipped with strong weapons. It took him a very, very long time to capture me, and I was doing my very best to fight back as sloppily as possible. Welcome to the Chamber of Truth. Doa, here. Velok is in charge. Answer my questions well and you may leave this place alive someday. Go on. Why have you come to this island? I have come to help the Matoran. What do you know of the Mask of Life? I know that the other Paraka plan to keep it for themselves and not share its power with you. What? How do you know that the other Paraka want to keep the mask from me. I have overheard them planning a trap for you if you are the first to find the mask of life. So what I suspect is true. What are the other Paraka planning? They have all allied against you to capture you when you least expected. Those traitors won't get away with us. Now tell me, Doa. Where is the Mask of Life? It is hidden beneath the volcano's lake of lava. And what do you know of Hakka? He has made an alliance with Avak to spy on you and steal the mask. So how do Hakan and Avak plan to get the Mask of Life before me? They plan to trick you with a false mask. Uh -huh. That's exactly what I wanted to know. You've served me well, Dora. To reward you for your honesty, I will lock you away forever. It's over now. Free me. A small hole in the wall? Maybe... What? The door's opening? 
You did well, boy. Okay, let's find Vezok and Reyduck. I fought them together, Vezok and Reyduck, and I defeated them. However, because I did not know how long I had been imprisoned, I hurried out. I needed to make sure Garan and the others were safe. I'm glad that you made it back, Toa. When we saw Raydock take you to the Chamber of Truth, we feared we would never see you again. Something strange is going on near the Valmai volcano and the Lake of Lava. The Baraka have been very busy there recently. They must be closing in on the Mask of Life. We can't let them find it. Travel there and investigate the lake and lava reservoirs. Spy on them from a high place and make sure you aren't seen. We need to know what the Paraka are planning. I'll show you two good spots on your map where you should be able to spy undetected. When you have a good idea about what's going on, come back and talk to me. So the Paraka are using the Matoran to drain the lake of lava. But why would they need to do that? You should talk to Dalu at the fortress. He might know more. So, Garan sent you to a cold weather Matora and to ask about a blazing hot volcano. Well,. Good thing for you, I do know a thing or two about lava. If nothing else, I know to stay away from it. But I guess that isn't an option for you, right? If the Mask of Life really isn't there, you're going to want to talk to one of the Matoran slaves they've got working on the lake training. And as it happens, one of the ones you freed is still hiding out in the village. If I were you, I'd go talk to him come back when you're done. Of course, if I were you, I'd also be a lot taller. It's the Tor. Thank you again. Yes, I was one of the Matoran they had working on the lava lake. They were making us empty it all by opening up the dam. The Paraka think the chamber of the Mask of Life is under the lava. If they empty the lake, they'll be able to get inside. So that's what the plan is. Well, Tor, we'll have to act quickly now. 
but you're going to need some special equipment if you're going to run around near the lake of lava. Bring us back some metal from the fire Gaffna in the Black Rocks region. A ten of them should be enough. I guess that'll do. Here you go, Dora. This should protect you from fire damage, and it'll do extra fire damage to your enemies as well. Perfect thing for the volcano, right? Here's ten fire metal pieces, Dalu. First thing you should do is free one of the Matoran who are working near there. Take him to the sanctuary in the jungle. It's a sure place. That'll keep the Paraka occupied while we figure out what to do next. We've got a spy working northeast of the dam station. If you take him with you, that should make good bait for the Paraka. You'll probably have to battle some Guardians and Nekdon, but that should be pretty easy for you by now. You're a big strong door, after all. Go talk to Garan when you're done. You want me to serve as bait? I... I see... If they must search the island for me, then... They will have to defy their forces. Alright then, let's go. Many thanks, Toa. The Paraka will look for me, but they will never find me here. I hope this gives you enough time to infiltrate the dam station. Good luck. Dalu tells me you did well near the lake of lava. I think your quest is nearing an end, Toa. Let us hope it is an end that will save Matanui. While the Paraka are occupied looking for their missing slaves in the jungle, we're going to finish their work and beat them to the prize. You'll have to drain the lake of lava and get into the chamber of the Mask of Life. If it really is down there, that is. The controls for the dam are in a building by the lava reservoirs. If you can find a way inside, you should open the dam to empty the lake. If you have any problems, talk to Piruk. He knows the area pretty well, after all his scouting. Hello again. What can I do for you, Tor? I can't get into the dam station, Piruk. You haven't found an entrance into the dam station. Did you try the lift on the roof? Ah, no power for the lift, huh? Well, I'm no mechanic like Balter, but I'd say you probably need a new energy stone. The best way to get one of those around here is off a nectar, and as luck would have it, there are some nearby. Once you've got the energy stone, you should be able to get the lift working. A trap wounds the Dolphar legs. He can barely move. What? What happens with my Burnak? Is it hurt? You need to find a lifestone to help him. As luck would have it, Peraka Sentinels use lifestones that can temporarily boost their power. Uh, there's one along the ice coast now. If you can destroy it, take the life stone and bring it to me. I should be able to fix the Bornak's leg with it. That's it! Great! Hang on a sec. This isn't the easiest procedure. Okay. Got it. The Bornak should be okay now. He should be able to get you into the damn control room.
I can't believe we went on that wild goose chase into the jungle. Hey, this is her can stuff. No tour allowed. Trying to drain the lava and get the mess before us. I don't think so. Hakan was strong. We fought until he chose to flee. I don't know if I would have truly beaten him, but I'm glad he gave up in this fight. There was something menacing about the way he fought. That savagery of his was threatening. How strange to think of the lake of lava empty. I do not know what we may find in there, Tora, but it is vital that we beat the Paraka to it. Climb to the bottom of the lake and see what you find. Report your findings to Dalu at the fortress and we'll plan what to do next. So you finally found the entrance. What? Locked. It seems you need three keys. Mm. The old legend does say something about three stones with elemental power, but we didn't think of collecting them before finding the entrance. I know where you can find them, but I'm afraid the delay may grant the Paraka time that we can't afford. Go quickly, Dor. That it of hearing door. Well, you won't thwart our plans for the mask this time, Tor. Soon, its power will be ours. But first, let's play together. I was right to worry about Hakan. He is strong, and this this insanely powerful attack? That's bonkers. I have no idea what this solution is, other than not to get hit. <sighs> Fortunately, any losses I suffer are not canon. Foolish Dwa! Do you think that you are only six Baraka? The power of the others is nothing compared to mine. And now I wear the mask of life. I am invincible. You cannot stop me. You cannot defeat my destiny. You will fall. The mask of life. I. I wield it. <clears throat> no, this is wrong. I cannot wield it. My mask is fleshy. It is. It's not as it should be. But this is not canon, is it? I didn't worry. I'll just keep going. Well, well, well. So you've done my work for me and taken care of the other Paraka. Thank you, Dad. Now I only have to destroy you, and the Mask of Life will finally be mine. Please, Zaktan, this is over. The Mask of Life lent me its power for a few moments. Surrender. Don't make me laugh, and give me this mask! I 
It's finally over. All the Paraka are gone. Voyanui is free. Let's go find Karan. Is that the mask of life? Incredible, Toa. You've done it! With the Paraka defeated and the Mataran freed, Boyanui will at last be restored to peace. Thank you, my friend. May you use the mask wisely and well, and may Matanui be rescued from darkness. Good luck in all your adventures to come. Good luck to you, Garan. The end. The mask of life is finally in your hand. But for how long? The saga is far from over, and new dangers wait in the deep. Vacay time!